quick introduction to another DIY. Today is Sunday the 2nd of June so it is uh, Queen's birthday weekend. Our task for today is to lay the new flooring in our kitchen and entranceway. The first thing we had to do was actually remove the banister because we plan on changing the banister eventually so it's kind of these panels the whole entire way up but the bottom of the old banister was jutting out over the floor and we needed to obviously replace the floor right up into where the new banister is. So Nick bags the job of removing that banister. For now we will be living with this temporary banister uh, until we get around to replacing it. Let's start the DIY. on one o'clock and we have just finished putting down all of the underlay on the floor so we're just having a quick little lunch break and then we can start actually laying the floor. I don't know if I said before but with the new stainless steel oven that we are getting um, it's basically got to look the same as our old one in terms of like it's a standalone oven rather than having um, like a separate cooker top only because otherwise we'd have to change like the bench top if we wanted to add like an inbuilt oven and then a separate like cooker top and we knew that we wanted to like modernize the kitchen a little bit but this is just a way of like saving us a little bit of money so um that oven isn't arriving for like a week i think for like a couple days yesterday before we took the oven out um i made us a whole bunch of different meals and lunches that we can have uh, and then i've also bought some stuff to have slow cooked meals as well so we're not going to starve if we don't have an oven um for like a good week or so the way that our house used to be um, these French drawers which is what we use as an actual front door that just used to be a wall so this was where you like came into the house which is why all of the light switches and stuff are here so we got a light switch installed over there um, when we first moved in but we never use that door I kind of want to turn that whole entrance way into like a built-in like coat cupboard I think that will just make like for so much more storage and it will just look so much better um, but first of all we need to do some research because I know there's like a lot of different consent things about closing up a doorway in your house we'll still have two like entry and exit points in our house but yeah we just need to do a bit more research before we can figure out what to do with that It is now just gone 6 30 and we have finished this part which is like the kitchen part of the floor it definitely took us a lot longer um i think than expected just to get going and like find our rhythm but once we did it was all good so tomorrow all we need to do is this little bit of hallway just here and then the laundry but this here was definitely like the biggest bit so it's all good we're gonna stop for the night because we can't really keep sawing and hammering um past like seven anyway and as you can probably tell by the top of my nose it's real cold outside so we're just gonna bring everything uh back inside we've ordered some pizza and then i think we're just gonna chill out okay the floor is pretty much done we're just putting in the final piece which is of course gonna be the hardest piece just this tiny little one just here if any of you guys are planning on laying uh this kind of like laminate wood flooring or any kind of like wood look flooring my advice to you is to lay the floor the way that you want the room to be extended let me show you what i mean so right now i'm standing at our front door and as you can see we have laid the floor this way so that this whole entrance area oops sorry we're out of focus this whole entrance area feels a lot more elongated because you're kind of like going with the flow of the floor if that makes any sense our other option would have been to lay the floor this way so it kind of extended how the room felt between the kitchen and the lounge behind me but i definitely think going from the entrance way makes a lot more sense hopefully you'll be able to see in the before and afters what i'm talking about in terms of it making like this space here feel so much bigger um but yeah quick tip for any of you diys out there as well how nice does that new oven look next to our stainless steel dishwasher and then also our stainless steel fridge i think it just adds 
so much more to the kitchen. The next thing that we are going to do is replace this range hood right here because that's also kind of broken um, and I want to get a stainless steel one to match the rest of the appliances. Let me show you what it looks like. So this is the range hood that we are thinking of getting at first. I was trying to toss up between one like this and one like that but I feel like that will probably have the same effect in terms of like flattening out the walls so I think we're just going to go for this one which is kind of like a typical range hood. I'm hoping a range hood like that um, which actually has like the ventilation pipe going up here will just help make the kitchen feel a bit nicer because at the moment I feel like this one oh sorry we're quite blurry the moment I feel like this one and also the tiles just like cuts that wall in half let me know what you think down in the comments but I just think it will help like the flow if this is like going up as well. I was going to talk you guys through all of the changes that we are going to make in the next part of our like entranceway slash kitchen reno but I think I will actually just like wait until we do that because there's quite a lot to get through and I feel like this video has already been quite long um but the one thing that I do want your opinion on is the tiles. The tiles that we've got at the moment they're really hard to clean they're like a weird uh, like off-white cream color uh, so we're just gonna replace them with plain white tiles most likely do the subway style that we have done in the bathroom and that we're also gonna do in the laundry but I just don't really know where to tile. So this section of our bench has the tiles going all the way up to the top cabinetry this back wall has to the top of the range hood which we're probably also going to move the other range hood up because that's at a bit of a weird angle uh, but then on the other side of the window it kind of cuts down and we've only got one row of tiles on this side. I think as a standalone wall having that all tiled would look really nice but my only concern is then like what do we do with this section of the wall because I don't know if we tile up until the end of the cabinetry here because then like we might have to move that picture up or that might look weird if there's like tiles up to there because we're definitely not going to bother to tile like above the cabinetry that's just going to be the white alabaster paint we've used in the rest of the house. This side here I have less issue with because I think again like if we want to tile all the way up to the cabinetry it's not going to matter as much and then up there can just be still white paint. I'm going to shut this laundry door because that washing machine is doing a spin cycle and it's very loud. Um, but yeah, I'm really not sure how we want to tile it, if we even do want to bother to tile this whole wall because like that is quite a lot of tiles but I just feel like it will look nicer. But if you guys have any suggestions on what you think we should do, please leave them for me in the comment section down below. Even though this video has been like an entranceway and kitchen reno, I think what I will do with the next videos is do like the entranceway rest of that renovation and then the kitchen rest of that renovation because there's still quite a bit that we want to do in both of those spaces. Um, so yeah, I think at that point this brings this video to an end because we're not planning on doing those renovations for a little bit. Um, I hope you guys have really enjoyed watching this video. Let me know what your thoughts were and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.